Now, News 13, Sky Warn Weather. Well, despite the drier air moving in, we've still managed to generate a few showers, especially around the mountain areas. They have drifted towards the Farmington area and up towards Durango. Meanwhile, down towards Albuquerque, we're seeing a few showers as well. So tonight, 54 degrees, partly cloudy. I think that we're not going to be dealing with those showers overnight at least. And then tomorrow looks to be much quieter and even a little bit warmer by a few degrees. Uh, we're looking at low 90s. 63 tonight in Farmington, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow looks like it'll be a very hot day nearing 100 degrees. And that's probably about where we'll top off before we hit that weekend and temperatures begin to cool. More on that in just a bit. First off, though, Right now, 70s in Cortez, 80s in Durango, 90s in Farmington. We're baking down to the south in the 80s and 90s. We have seen hotter, of course. Back up to our east, 80s from Roswell back towards Carlsbad. And the wind speeds around 10 in Durango, 25 in Farmington. And keep in mind, those showers and thunderstorms that are in the area do have a tendency of producing some gusty wind. So that's why we're seeing it this afternoon. Now, just a little cluster hugging right along that the state line, the Colorado and New Mexico state line, where we're seeing those showers is probably where we're seeing those winds from as well. As for the rest of New Mexico, looking pretty quiet with the exception of the north and east where we've seen some strong storms rolling off the central mountain chain. Drier and hotter, that's really what the story is going to be for tomorrow. But once we get into uh, Saturday and into Sunday, we'll start to see things pick up, at least shower-wise. The reason why is, well, we're going to see another one of those fronts moving into the northeastern plains and digging into portions of New Mexico, at least a good part of New Mexico, and will recharge the atmosphere. So here's how it's all going to break down for us. Strong storms for the east. We'll see scattered showers for the west. So pretty much everybody's going to be in the action as far as this weekend is concerned. The difference is, of course, this is not the monsoon where you get the high off into Texas and the low pressure system off to our west, and that helps drag in the moisture. This is all coming from the east more or less. Precipitation forecast looks like this evening will be quiet. We'll start to see things get a little bit more interesting, perhaps late tomorrow evening. You see a few spotty showers in our region up here. And then Saturday afternoon, once that front begins to dig southward and pump in that moisture, that's when we'll start to see more showers and storms popping up across the region. And Sunday actually could be a little bit more busy for us as well. So target areas, let's go right through it. The northeast, the Sangre de Cristos, will see some strong thunderstorms. Some could turn severe as well. Down south, they're keeping it in the eastern areas of the state. Scattered showers from Carlsbad to Roswell. And also, we'll be looking for scattered showers for much of the western areas of the state. But still, I think that the busiest area is definitely going to be the east. Right now, across the nation, looking pretty quiet in the Midwest. Back off to the north and east, though, we've got a low-pressure system that's dragging a front across much of the eastern areas of the U.S. and producing some showers there as well, back down towards Florida. Closer look at home now. Tonight, we drop in the 50s and 60s. And tomorrow, we are right up into those 80s and 90s. All over again, even Farmington will hit near 100 degrees. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if some